Well, civil rights activists, community leaders, and perhaps thousands of others are converging in Florida for a number of events and meetings today in less than an hour. The first of two important town hall meetings to discuss the death of Trayvon Martin. Trayvon's parents are expected to be there. And by now, you know Trayvon's face and the details of his death. What happened to Trayvon has exploded into a national movement for justice and it sparked debate over Florida's stand your ground law. When I say national movement, this is what I'm talking about. Today alone, nearly 20 events all across the country for Trayvon, not just in Florida, but from Pennsylvania to California, Iowa, Michigan, Atlanta. As you can see, the list goes on. And today is especially poignant because it was exactly a month ago today that Trayvon was shot to death by neighborhood watchman George Zimmerman, who claims it was self-defense. Our Roland Martin is actually moderating the first town hall that's taking place today. Uh, Roland, as we mentioned, there are two events uh, in the community today. You're moderating this first one, right. organized by uh, Bar Association and Trayvon's family. The second town hall later tonight, organized by the Sanford City Commission. So let's talk about why did the family feel they needed to hold their own town hall? Well, because for what they want to do is they don't want this to simply be a moment, but certainly lead to a movement. Uh, they want to be, be able to provide uh, information, the latest information uh, in this particular case, but also uh, to get people to understand that this story uh, goes beyond just Trayvon Martin. Uh, to your point, so many folks across this country have been galvanized by this story. Uh, I've been getting uh, stories from other people, uh, shootings in other cities as well, and they would like to have investigated. And so, and so that's really what their aim is, to be able to provide as much factually up to information as possible. All right, let's talk about some of the new developments, uh, Roland, that we, we just found about this morning. First of all, uh, a few members of the new Black Panther Party now offering this $10,000 bounty uh, for George Zimmerman's capture. Uh, can, you, can you tell me about that? And also, I'm reading there have now been death threats against the Sanford police chief. Uh, are you going to be addressing both of these issues at your town hall? Well, of course. I mean, I, I talked to the New Black Panthers on yesterday. Uh, I've covered them for uh, actually since their founding uh, when Khalid Muhammad, the former national spokesman for the Nation of Islam, uh, was involved with them. Uh, and what they, first of all, they are doing this without the permission of the family. Uh, they say they don't need it. Uh, they say that they simply are tired of these kind of events happening and folks not brought to justice. But I also talked yesterday with attorney Ben Crump. And what he said is the family does not authorize this. Uh, they do not want it to happen. They made it perfectly clear that if George Zimmerman is arrested, that it will be done through by law enforcement officials and no one else. Uh, they made it clear they don't want anybody walking around arresting anybody because that plays right into the hand of this whole uh, sort of vigilantism that they don't want to actually see take place. Uh, and so I'll be talking later also with the new Black Panthers uh, to get their thoughts on it because, again, they say people criticize them for their involvement uh, and it's wrong, uh, but the family's made it clear. We don't want any of that sort of stuff to happen. Now, what about these death threats against uh, the Sanford police chief? have not had an opportunity to talk with city officials with regarding uh, those particular death threats, uh, but certainly uh, we'll be, I'll be seeing the uh, city manager, uh, Mr. Bonaparte here, as well as the mayor, and we'll definitely try to get more information on that. All right. We'll be talking to you all throughout uh, the afternoon. Roland, thank you so much.